And then there's that thing of procrastination. You know, things that you should do, but I'll start tomorrow, I'll start next week, uh, that diet or that uh, exercise or something like that, or that book you, that you decided to write. Yeah, 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 <clears throat> I will, I will, but maybe not today, tomorrow. You see, there are books and books written about procrastination, and in a lot of them, the authors are usually giving you some kind of tips and tricks for time management. But procrastination is not a consequence of time mismanagement. It is a consequence of emotional mismanagement. You, when you think about that thing that you sh decided to do, to go on a diet, it just doesn't feel good. It feels better not to do that than to do that. Why is that? What, is, what are you afraid that is going to happen or what are you getting from this situation? And both questions will give you very interesting answers. So, what is the worst possible thing if I go on a diet? I will be hungry, I will be cranky, it's not going to work, uh, because, or I'm going to maybe lose some weight, but, but then after a while they're just going to come back, and it's more pleasant, you perceive it as more pleasant not to try it at all, than to try it and then to fail. But also there is the other side of the coin. What am I getting out of not getting, not going to that? Well, maybe you have friends that are also a bit overweight, and if you really go on a diet and you well, lose some weight, um, uh, as you <laughs> hope you will, maybe they will hate you, maybe they will envy you, maybe they are not going to like you anymore, they, are not, uh, they won't go to they are not going to like to go to you with the movies, or they are not going to be friends with you, and so on and so on. And also you are getting a lot of sympathy for being maybe obese, and you created all kinds of reasons that it is your right, and so on and so on. And you like to eat, and blah, 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 blah. You know, you don't need to go on a diet. <laughs> but if you decide to go on a diet, and then you notice that you are procrastinating, that you are just not doing that, ignore your thoughts that it's going to happen tomorrow, yes, yes, uh, after the summer or after the New Year's Eve or whatever, you notice, but you need to notice. And actually meditation is a huge help there. You notice that you are just procrastinating. You're just kicking the can down the road, so to speak. Why? What do I believe is true? What is the worst possible thing that might happen if I go to a diet? And what am I getting out of it? I ignore the excuses. Excuses are just a consequence of your vibratory state of anxiety, let's say, or shame, or guilt, because you are well, overweight, and so on and so on, and just face it, face it. So procrastination is not about time management, it's about emotional management, and actually it's about management of your own definitions and beliefs.